Alright, what is poppin' people? My name is Out of Order. Welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see, guys, we got a banger for you today. We're gonna be taking a look at the free plugin known as Version Raptor. So this plugin or script is entirely free for After Effects. I'll leave a link to it down below if you wanna get it yourself. But it really stood out to me. I mean, just... Look how cute this thing is. It's a freaking raptor, bro. So you're probably wondering, what the hell does this thing even do? Well, I'm gonna show you what it does. So as you can see, I got a kind of a project, not really a project. Honestly, all I did was import a bunch of clips. I didn't even edit them or do anything cool with them. But nevertheless, we got something here today. Now what this plugin does is it reminds you the last time you save. So as you can see, I saved it four minutes ago. And as you can see, it also has the last auto save. I'm pretty sure I turned off my auto save, so it's not gonna do anything. And we can also create versions of the project project file which is pretty cool so let's test it out if i make a simple edit so let's just go into this composition we got our little depth map over here i'm just gonna make an adjustment layer change it to luma map and let's just add a simple effect so let's just go with the classic s distort chroma so we got it over here let's increase the blur size mess with the depth map just a little bit add some levels on here and we're just gonna essentially pretend like i have an edit here all right boom as you guys can see we got a simple edit made over here and oh my god i haven't saved in five minutes dude it would be a shame if my project fall crash. All right, I'm gonna cut the cheesy cringe acting out. But anyway, if we just press Control S, as you can see, boom, it just updated to zero minutes since the last save. Now this is pretty good because honestly, if you're a new editor, you really need to get into the habit of just Control Sing. I pretty much just save after pretty much everything I ever do in this program. But sometimes saving just isn't enough. So as you can see, we can also make a version. So let's add a version to this project file. If I just press that, it's gonna make a version. It renamed it to V01. So as you can see, we got some cool stuff going on. Let's just say I want to experiment with something. Let's just add an even dumber effect on here. All right, guys. So as you can see, I added an even stupider effect. We got pick stither with pixel sorting. So as you can see, it looks pretty bad. What can we do about it? Well, let's add a new version. Boom. Now we're on version two and it saved it. But let's say, oh man, I don't like the way the pick stither looks. Let's go back to V1. Boom. We're back to the good old S distort chroma. So making versions of the project files is pretty cool. However, I think this part is way more useful which is making versions of the composition because i don't really find myself switching between project file versions but nevertheless let's take this composition for an example if i click on this one over here boom it just made a duplicate of it so we got comp one and we got comp two as you can see so i can add a stupid effect on here let's just add something like cycle blobs boom it's all on here we don't really like it blah 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 boom we can go back to the main comp the original so as you can see it's really useful for just making versions of everything duplicates of everything pretty useful and as you can see you can just swap between them so let's just try here for example if we're in here let's just say we like the distort we want to keep it going but we want to experiment with something else boom if we click on this we get frag 2 and this is essentially just the same thing we can mess the settings even more make it look stupider let's just make this like one for an example so as you can see we got two versions of them we got frag 1 and we got frag 2 now i will say that this is probably the biggest disappointment in the plugin which is i wish it did frag dash 2 instead of just going from frag 1 to frag 2 because this is how i rename my stuff so it would have been a bit better if it was like frag 1 v2 instead of just going from frag 1 to frag 2 you guys get what i mean it's pretty stupid it does that but nevertheless it's still pretty useful and the last few things it does is as you can see you can have it warn if the project file hasn't been saved for 24 hours you can edit this as well so as you can see i made it one hour and now it'll warn you when the project file hasn't been saved for an hour we also can't make any more versions because as you can see a newer project version exists so if we go over here open recent open up the new version we don't even need this one anymore and we got the pig zither again boom we can make a version 3 if we wanted. And that's pretty much it. This is just a simple quick review of version Raptor. I think it's pretty useful. As you can see, there was like one flaw I found in it. But other than that, pretty useful and it's free. So like, hey, we can't even complain. But I recommend getting it because, a, hey, it's a cute little Raptor and it's pretty kick-ass. But nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoy it. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, guys. I make videos on editing and all sorts of other cool stuff. My social medias like Instagram, Twitter, and Discord are all in the description down below if you want to go check those out. My editing pack is also in the description as well if you want to buy my presets project files and other cool stuff that i use in my edits be sure to check it out but other than that thank you guys so much for watching happy editing and i'll catch you guys in the next video boys peace out